Hey everybody, we're back here in the Human Anatomy and Physiology Labs at Ohio University, Professor Klein bringing you another video today on the brachial plexus. Here we can see the brachial plexus and how it would branch off of that spinal cord traveling through the vertebral column and eventually form peripheral nerves traveling down to the arm and the hand. Here we can see where the spinal nerve roots would come off of the spinal cord. Here we can see the brachial plexus made from pipe cleaners with C5, C6, C7, C8, and T1. Now those spinal nerve roots will travel out and eventually form three different cords. You have the medial cord as shown here, the posterior cord, and the lateral cord. Now notice how the posterior cord is indeed posterior or underneath these top medial and lateral cords. And the medial and lateral cords will form what's known as the M of the brachial plexus. But what we are most focused on are the peripheral nerves as seen here. This one, musculocutaneous, median, ulnar. Underneath, radial, and axillary.